In this tutorial for the dissertation template, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom number of level levels for your table of contents. So right now the table of contents is set up so that it shows chapter titles, first level subheadings, and second level subheadings. But in the TIU style guide, you're only required to have chapter title and first level subheadings. So you may want to do that, or you may actually want to show all your all your subheadings levels two three four five however many you have so I'm going to show you how to customize a number of levels of of headings and subheadings that show up in your document so we'll open up our table of contents <coughs> in the template and right now this is the one that's already been modified to show uh, chapter title first level subheading and then this is a second level subheading, and then back to a second, a first level uh, sub subheading. And what we're going to do is is change the way that shows up. So we come up to the ribbon. Once again, it's the reference tab, table of contents group. And we're going to look at the click on the arrow for the table of contents button. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on insert table of contents. Let me bring this inside the window. And now we're going to leave all of these settings just as they are. So show page numbers is going, we're going to leave clicked. Write align page numbers, we're going to leave that clicked. I'm not going to do a tab leader because that's defined in the styles that are used. We're going to use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. And we're going to leave this. This is going to change when we set our options. So we're going to click on options. And now we need to change some of the default settings that are in here. So first of all, we need to delete. We're going to scroll down until we get to chapter number. And we're going to delete that number. We don't want chapter numbers to show up in the table of contents. Then we're going to go down near the bottom, or all the way to the bottom. And where it says THS header non-table of contents, we're going to delete that. Now we're going to come up kind of towards the beginning but not quite, I guess more towards the middle. We are going to set the header to 1, so that's correct. And then heading 1, chapter title, is going to be level 2. The heading 2, which is a level 1 subheading, we're going to change that to a 3. And that's all I want in my document. I don't want anything else, so I'm going to delete level 2 subheadings. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to, and you'll see that this disappeared before we had this set to 3. Uh, that's disappeared because it's set to our custom settings. Now I'll hit OK. Do you want to replace the selected table of contents? And when I hit OK, you'll see these two level 2 subheadings are going to disappear. And once again, I have to go through the whole process, click into the table of contents, insert the tabs, everything that I told you about in the previous tutorial for table of contents. So that's all you need to do to customize the number of uh, sublevel headings that show up.